Hello, this is an encoded accessible temp storage hall. So it looks like a normal storage hall. Um, you go chests, you go box displays, but the box displays are actually temp storages and they're not actually connected to the chests like you'd expect. If you look at the slice here, um, you can see the chest is actually completely separate from the box display. Um, there are two separate dropper lines um, instead of the hopper under the chest feeding the box display. So when you select a slice, um, you can either search the temp storage for an item, or you can put items in the slice. Um, we're using Floppy's decoder for that. This is a very nice decoder because it lets you have an output on whatever side you choose instead of just one output. This actually started a couple years ago on Bedrock. Um, so Kairu and Taekwon mainly were making an accessible temp storage hall on Bedrock. And that's now done. So this is a synchronized release with Kairu. Um, functionally, theirs is a lot more interesting than mine. It does some more stuff that mine doesn't, and it's got four items per slice instead of two. But mine helps you understand the concept a bit more easily, because it's very simple. So go and check out Kairu's video. Um, compared to a normal temp, it's a lot bigger. So usually you would use a layout like this, and each chest would have like 32-ish, 16 items in it. And you'd address a specific slot of the chest to get the exact item that you want. Um, you basically cycle all the items around and then swap out unstackables and boxes when you need to. I will release one of those at some point when I make one that isn't garbage. Um, obviously this is a lot smaller than the accessible one, but it's not as accessible to the player. So it's, it may be a bit less convenient, depending on what your priorities are. But I'll show you it working now. So, say we've got a box of yellow concrete and temp, and we get another one arrive and we want to merge them. We would put the box in sort of the input to the temp. It'll detect that we have a box that we need to compare against the temp, and then that will enable the temp. So then when we put the code in, it'll search the temp, it'll find that box, and then it'll spit out both of the boxes, and they can go to the merger like that. And then obviously they get merged and put back in the system if it doesn't make a full box. Let's say that we now want to put that box back in the temp and we don't have one already there. We'll put it in the dropper and then you can see there's no box for it to merge with so it needs to be placed in the temp. So if we put the code in down here, um, it'll search the temp, it won't find a box because there wasn't one. It'll detect that and then it'll send the box into the dispenser and then when we reset the slice, it'll dispense it like that. So now. We've got our box accessible in the temp. Right, so accessible temps have quite a few edge cases, so it's nice having the box accessible. You can take your items out instead of having them stored inaccessibly, but that means you can have an empty box just sitting in your temp, so you need to check for that before sending it to the mergers if your merger can't handle empty boxes. Um, same thing with full boxes. Um, that's not too bad. It's very easy to do that. The problem is mainly with mixed boxes. So if, say you craft something, and then you don't need all the items you crafted, so you put it back in the box thinking, oh, it's harmless, it'll be fine. It won't. Um, if your merger isn't specifically designed to handle mixed items, like a CUD merger or some garbage with instant droppers, um, it will break if someone puts a mixed box in there. Usually that's not a problem with temps because the items in them are very predictable, you know it's one item type, because it's come out of a splitter. But with this, it's come out of a player interface, so it may break. I was talking to Jaw and XCOM the other day, and we thought it could be cool to just get rid of the chests and have this purely as a temp storage, and then you put it under your main bulk hall, or chest hall or whatever. It works the same as it does with the chests. So if I put in this orange box here, and then put the code in, it's two press button, it'll find the box, it'll spit them both out, and they can go to the mergers. But that would be built under your main chest hall, not as the main thing. And for example, this is our bulk on Kronos. Just normal box displays. If I empty this one, it will replace it for me, which is a bit more convenient than not replacing it in the accessible temp. So you just build an accessible temp under it. 
Right, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it or found it useful. Remember to go and watch Kyrie's video, even if you don't play Bedrock, it's just interesting to see what people make and the concept can be ported to Java. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.